Welcome back guys in the lab. This is Buffing Triple ATS. This is our 16 channel handheld radio and uh, I show you this one here is this is on the top uh, you can find two switches the first one this is on off and the volume switch and uh, this one this is uh, channel switch and uh, here is this one this is antenna connector here is uh, you can see this one this is uh, indication uh, light under here and here is this LED for the torch and uh, on this side this one the big one this button is uh, for the PTT and uh, you can say this is a PTT switch and uh, under this switch here are you can see two switches and uh, the first one this one this is uh, for the spells and uh, uh, this one this one is uh, for the torch and uh, you can say for the emergency call and on this side under this lid uh, you can see uh, here are uh, two ports under here uh, these two ports you can use uh, for the data for the programming mode and uh, you can also use these uh, two ports for the hands-free now the problem with this uh, radio uh, the volume switch and the on off switch is uh, not uh, working properly of this radio now i show you how you can replace uh, the volume plus on off switch of this radio and uh, i show you how you can replace this one at first we open this radio and uh, all the screws open from here here are only two uh, screws here you can open uh, from a screwdriver as you can see look and uh, only here are only two screws now you pull uh, these two knobs look this a slightly pull these two knobs to remove now with the help of uh, this key uh, you must open this antenna ring nut first and uh, now with this small one channel switch ring nut and uh, now we open uh, on off plus volume switch ring nut from this uh, key now all uh, three ring nuts are open now as you can see here look this and pull all uh, these uh, three nuts here and uh, with the flat screw driver you can open this uh, radio from here and uh, separate uh, the casing of uh, this radio as you can see here this is a speaker installed here in the casing and here is this is for the indication light and uh, for this here and uh, now for uh, if you want to replace this this on off plus volume switch you must open all these uh, uh, screws and uh, separate the board from chassis and uh, now we open these uh, four screws of the board look Now, 
now you can uh, here this is the power battery connector for the power this is connected here with the board this is battery connector now we remove this battery connector and uh, now this antenna connector you can pull this uh, to separate from chassis this look this no need to open uh, this antenna pin and uh, now you can easily now you can easily now you can easily uh, look this easily you can replace this uh, volume switch look this this is volume switch now you can clear all these five pins or five points remove the shoulder now look this here are uh, all the points are uh, now clear and now check the uh, dry soldering and uh, here a little bit dry soldering on the channel switch so you need to remove all the dry soldering from this board as you can see here uh, on the board at here the residus effects or a chemical reaction of uh, soldering paste so you must remove all the soldering dry soldering first and must be your good connections here and now uh, you need to replace uh, this uh, one of plus volume switch with the new one uh, and before insert the new one of plus volume switch here uh, you need to uh, clean this board with the help of uh, brush with the motherboard cleaner you must clean this board apply a little bit uh, motherboard cleaner on the brush and uh, clean this area now you can see the board is shining now because you must clean all the parts and uh, this board because a lot of dust here on the board and uh, you must need to clean this board first before installing the new switch here Now here you can see this is a new volume switch and uh, I show you in a clo look, close look. So this is a new uh, on off plus volume switch as you can see with this and uh, 
now I show you how you can replace this volume switch at first first of all we align all the pins with the help of tweezer or uh, uh, nose plier you can align all five pins and uh, insert this volume switch here and look this easily you can uh, replace this one of plus volume switch and now we solder with the help of iron and uh, check all the pin solders the pins must be solder uh, carefully because any dry soldering can make any problem now all the pins check again uh, with the help of uh, this magnifier glass now as you can see all the pins are uh, soldering well now we fix this uh, we fix this board on the chassis and uh, just keep in mind this uh, power pin must be on the right place and uh, now we fix uh, all these four screws first uh, with the help of uh, Philips screwdriver. All the screws tight well and uh, remove all the losing uh, in between board and the chassis. Because the chassis of this uh, radio also used for the heat sink. Uh, now put this screwdriver here and uh, now again we soldering here on the This is power pin or battery connector and I also soldering again uh, this antenna connector pin. Now here is this one this is uh, as you can see this is a speaker of uh, this radio on the see look this solder here are these two these two points for the speaker as you can see these are uh, few dots and uh, two you can see two big dots here uh, or a point for the soldering so this is uh, the these two points uh, for the speaker and you must uh, attach the speaker wires here and now at first uh, we check uh, this radio before assembly is it working or not with the power supply you can attach a wire here now I attach this power supply terminal here to check the radio power on. One. 
look now this uh, volume switch is uh, working good uh, I show you and uh, now press the uh, this uh, button this is a spell and check the volume is working perfectly and on of this radio power on well one so this volume switch, volume plus one of switch is uh, working now and uh, this radio is now okay and uh, ready to use now we uh, assemble this radio and fix this radio casing and the chassis now look this push a little bit to fix this As you can see push a little bit to fix this radio now this uh, uh, chassis is fixed in the casing and now uh, we uh, these two fix uh, the chassis with the casing with these two screws and uh, you must tie carefully all these two screws and uh, now this ring net of uh, all these three ring nets tied carefully and uh, With the help of this key, you must tie uh, these two antenna and uh, volume and uh, channel switch ring nuts. And now uh, all these three nuts are tied with the help of key. Now put the knots on the channel switch and volume switch. Look this here. You can see a cut inside the knob and uh, as you can see the cut over here on the channel switch and uh, you must align look this look now this is fixed look this put in the slot and push a little bit now uh, this radio is ready and ready to use now so this is the video of today and uh, if you like our video please subscribe our channel like share comment and must press the bell icon to watch more videos like this now this is uh, ready and uh, I show you again uh, how this is working look this I connect this radio with the power supply and now as you can see indication light is this is wells button this is torch look this and here is this is uh, this one is the channel switch and here this is the on off plus volume switch and now this radio is ready and ready to use Thanks for watching and uh, keep watching our channel. See you again till next. Allah Hafiz.